Hello everyone, my name is Ishmael N and welcome to today's quick video. With what I'm about to share now, I'm not sure if it has already happened by the time you're watching this video or if not, this can be a good warning, hallelujah. And even if it has happened, I'm believing that it can bring healing and understanding to what has just happened. Praise the Lord, because it is coming from the one you love the most. Hallelujah. Looking at the Bible, it made it clear that the betrayal came from Judas. Jesus never sinned when he was on earth. He showed the disciples, all of them, nothing but love throughout. But one was still able to betray, which makes it clear that for one to betray you, it does not mean that you have done anything wrong. People just feel like betraying, just get tempted to betray. That's why I find that mostly when you love someone so much, especially in a romantic relationship, those who get hurt the most are those who love the most. Meaning it's not like someone hurt you or broke your heart or left you or cheated on you just because you did something wrong. No, they just decided to. Out of that love, in fact, it made them, it fueled them to even betray you more. They started to take even more advantage. Hallelujah. When Joseph was sold, it was from his brothers. But most especially when you look at David and Jonathan and King Saul, Jonathan was betraying his father and telling David, warning David that my father wants to kill you. He was taking the side of a friend, betraying their own father. And I'm sure that King Saul loved Jonathan more because that was the son, someone to succeed him as king when he dies. So those that you love the most, if you can look at that example of Jonathan and Saul, you can see that, huh, it's just that now we mostly look at the positive side about it. But on the negative side, we can see that he was a traitor to his father. That was Jonathan. So God says, be careful, someone won't lose. It will be coming from there. Be careful. Don't give your whole heart. Those the closest are the ones you should watch out for. Don't trust so much. Save room. May God help you in Jesus' mighty name. Save room for that disappointment. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. And of course, that's all ahead. Stay blessed and bye-bye.